Roblox developers added a new ability to add comments to your functions in Roblox Studio. It might not seem like a lot at first, but as a Roblox developer, this is a big deal. And the greatest part of this update is that you can even use HTML in your comments. Stay tuned for the rest of this video. I'm going to show you exactly how that works. As a wise man once said, function comments are a reminder to yourself what your function was about. And in languages like JavaScript and C++, we use slash and star to create multi-line comments. Now, in many languages, we use double slash to create single line comments. And in languages like Python, we use the hashtag. But because in Roblox Studio, we use Lua, we're going to use dash dash for single line comments and dash dash double square bracket. And in Lua, you don't have to add dash dash at the closing bracket. Okay, how does it actually work in Roblox Studio? Well, I'm gonna show you how. Let's say we have a function called ghost and we want to call this function somewhere in our code. So let's go ahead and type ghost. Now this new Roblox update gives us ability to change this part by adding a comment. So how do we do that? Okay, in Lua, we do dash dash for comments, right? So I'm gonna type dash dash. We can now say what this function does. And now every time you try to call it, you'll see the comment. We can now say what this function does. You can add as many lines as you want. So let's add another dash dash underneath this function. Call this function to disappear. Now, when you start calling this function, you will see multi-line call this function to disappear message. I'm gonna go ahead and add a third line. And again, you will see three lines here now in the comment section. There's one thing guys, if you add a space, you will no longer get the comment. You can still have the comment this way, it's just not going to show up in this lookup message as you type to execute that function. And here I remove the space. As you can see, the comment is back under this area. Now I'm going to show you how to use multiple line comments using a special character specifically for multi-line comments. And then I'm going to show you how to use HTML within those descriptions. Okay, let's go. Now, let me just show you first what we're trying to achieve. Let's type instance. And here you see on the right hand side and look up the instance itself is typed in this monospaced code based font. So how do we actually do that in our comment? Okay, I'm going to start multi-line comment with dash dash square bracket ghost function and I'm going to close the comment. On the second line, I'm going to type something use this function to disappear completely. Okay, I'm going to delete instance now and let's see what happens here. Ghost function use this function to disappear completely. So we have this comment, right? How do we add coding style? So you can actually use some of the HTML tags like code. What you do is you open code and you close code. Don't forget the slash on the second tag here. As you can see, we have to close it. Now, when I try to execute this function, let's type it. What's different here? As you can see, the ghost function name is typed in that coding style. It's a monospaced font. You can also make some of the words bold by adding the strong tag around that word. Strong, just don't forget to close with the slash on the second tag here. So this is going to make the words disappear in bold letters here. So this is how you use HTML in Roblox Studio comments. And not to waste any more of your time, guys, here's the codes for all the other styling directly from Roblox Studio developers forum. Shout out to SW Maniac for compiling this list of HTML codes that work in the latest Roblox Studio update. 